Spending more time at home? No way, me too. So let's make it a cozy cocoon. Hi friends, if you're new around here, I'm Anne, a holistic health coach and wellness advocate, and this is Veggie Magnifique, your go-to for holistic wellness and vegan lifestyle. So since we're all experiencing this odd, surreal moment, and we're all cooped up in our homes, I thought I would share eight ways to create a cozy cocoon at home. So whether you're a homebody or not, hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be reveling in the comforts of home and relishing your own little cocoon. Remember, most of these tips actually aren't just to placate you during this bizarre confinement. They also have palpable effects on your well-being and health. So let's get cocooning. My first tip is to use an essential oil diffuser. So why not create a cocoon that smells like a home spa? <laughs> My favorite blend is lavender, peppermint, and a little bit of eucalyptus, and I find that very healthifying and purifying. Now the thing about essential oils is yes, they smell good, and everyone loves a home that smells good, but also, Many essential oils are known to be antifungal, antiviral, antibacterial, so it actually is doing your home good. My second tip is to clean up and Maria Kondo your home. Ever heard of a zenifying cocoon that was cluttered? No. This is a golden opportunity to purify your space by cleansing out all that stagnant energy and stuff and purging. I mean, spring cleaning is a thing for a reason. And once the clutter is dealt with, you'll feel less stressed and less taxed, so yes, Cleaning out is a health practice. My next tip is sweet sounds. So music is a wonderful way to create a calming cocoon. I've been really into harp music lately. I find it very calming and soothing and beautiful. And you can create your own fun playlist and let the beautiful music drown out the din of the news. Cozy isn't cozy without tea, let's be honest. Hot beverages are so healing, fugue, and cozy that even just holding the cup makes you feel all warm and fuzzy. So choose your favorite tea, make it a ceremony, it's all about the presentation, and have a little moment. So tea is especially good for you if you choose an organic and loose leaf variety or a matcha. And of course, good tea is rich in antioxidants and good tea drinking is linked with longevity. So there you go. My next tip is to surround yourself with plants. Now this is not just boho design advice. Plants detoxify and purify the air in your space. So especially plants like snake plants, peace lilies, aloe vera, plants like that. These plants are not only going to make you feel connected with nature a bit, but they're also actually purifying the air. And remember, plants are alive, so they're breathing life into your space. Not only that, but they kind of keep you company, you know? And if you take care of them, I kind of think they take care of you. So my next tip is burning things. Not just anything, but candles, palo santo, sage, incense, whatever floats your boat. So cleanse your space by burning your favorite thing. And when you make your home a sacred space, it instantly feels cozier and cocoon-like. My next tip is baking. When your house smells like vanilla, chocolate, cookies, is there anything better? Yes, there's something better. You also get to eat what's in the oven when you're baking. It's a total win-win. So I love baking, so I will share some of my favorite recipes down in the comments below. But just remember to keep it kind. You don't need to use eggs, cow butter, or milk. You can use other ingredients, so check out some of those recipes below. My last tip is a fireplace. So this is a funny tip because I haven't had a fireplace in all of my adult life, actually, 
but that doesn't mean I can't visually and auditorily create the same cozy feeling because they've got fireplaces for days on YouTube. So it's a snap, crackle, and pop. So those are my tips for creating a cozy cocoon at home, but I'd love to hear from all of you. What are some of the things that you do to create a cozy feel-good cocoon at home? Let's have a conversation in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, it's easy to do. Just click the red button. And if you enjoyed this video, it really means a lot when you click that thumbs up button. Sending you all love, wellness, and cozy coziness. Until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Have you ever thought about studying holistic nutrition? Maybe it's been on your mind for a while? Well, as many of you know, I studied holistic nutrition at the Institute for Integrative Nutrition, also called IIN, and it totally changed my life, and it was also very integral in the creation of Veggie Magnifique. So some of the reasons I really love the program are, in the end, you end up working in an industry that's in line with your heart and your values, plus you can own your own business or side business. You also improve your health and well-being, and then, the health and well-being of your clients and also your family. And plus you can work from anywhere and the program of course can be done from anywhere in the world. But studying at IAN goes way deeper than just diet and nutrition and that's actually why I really loved it. To learn more you can check the referral link down in the description box and that will also lead you to the best deal that they currently have on offer.